God's purifying fire, His Holy Spirit, has been refining us since the days of Pentecost. But now it is time to turn up the heat seven times to make us perfect. All that cannot withstand this process is dross and needs to be done away with. The more you allow yourself to be refined of the world's way of doing things, the more you will shine until you become like a star shining in the heavens in a world of darkness. As a parent, would you rather have your children when they are born to be full of love for you or would you rather have their, them first grow up and then make a free will choice or decision to love you? If your answer is to have them love you since birth, then why do you keep saying God would desire it to be the other way around for his own children? If we are really supposed to be in his image and likeness, then we should have at least some of the same characteristics as he does. And if that's true, then why would he want something as meaningful as this to be any different? If you are a self-centered person, then you truly are blind because self-centeredness has a tendency to cause you to see no one else but yourself. And even then, you don't see your own faults usually. A man who has sinned is sick, and then he needs your prayers to help heal him. These words used with faith have the divine power to subdue every kingdom and nation in the world, overthrowing and destroying every stronghold, and literally turning the world upside down and causing chaos or peace everywhere. When you sin, you are not being whole because part of your holiness goes away. You are not being completely what God made you to be, which was to be very good with prayers and faith in Jesus. You can have your sins forgiven and be healed and be raised back to a state of wholeness. Confession is good for the soul. Confess your sins one to another, a priest, so that others can pray for your healing also. Islam is a religion that denies that we are God's children and therefore denies that Jesus is the Son of God. Need I say more? The Bible says Mary was visited by the angel Gabriel and he told her that she would have a child who would be called the Son of God. The Quran says Muhammad was visited by the angel Gabriel and he told them that God has no children. Apparently one of these Gabriels is an imposter. I need to have a commanding presence because if I didn't, every crazy person out there would attempt something drastic to stop us. God didn't just create us. He pre-procreated us. Every form of oppression in the world will be looked into in inquisition to see if it is of God or not. God's oppression is a type that sets you free. 
To be wholeheartedly in love with God is to take this book as a symbol of your love and hold it up for the world to see. You need to stop your rebellion and your wickedness and sitting on your mat, which is thinking you are not quite good enough for heaven, but neither are you quite good enough for hell. And begging the world for what it has to offer and start looking to God for what he has to offer. And before long, you will see a new man. It's kind of ironic that I want to save the world when I can't even save myself from my own suffering. It is a cross that I must bear. No wonder Jesus thought they would tell him to heal himself before worrying about healing others. The truth is, I already have eternal life. Because he who gives his life for the sake of Jesus and the elect will be saved. It is only by denying myself what the world has to offer and enduring what I can, what I do, can I reign as him and be the second coming? Only by remaining faithful and doing what I can to get this world to follow Jesus so that others may obtain salvation, can I obtain salvation for myself. Is your unbelief due to you or your parents? The reason you can't see the truth goes back to even before they were born. It is their fathers who are guilty of leading you astray. It is they who hated what God has to offer and followed and worshipped the idols of the world that caused blindness. Their sin is why you have to deal with the Lord your God's jealousy and now you display the same unfaithfulness, and you should be punished. The Lord who is abundant in love, compassion, and slow to anger would have gladly forgiven you and let you get by unpunished if you had at least kept his commandments. But you have not even tried to do that. However, there is still time before the day of judgment comes upon you because God does have great love for you. God will show you mercy and be faithful in his promise to pardon you if you will show you have love for him and turn from your evil ways and do his work, which is to be a blessing to a thousand generations after you. Can't you see that if you would do these things you were sent to do, you would help the light of Jesus shine on your children and your children's children, allowing them to go to heaven and be part of the house of God. And when you don't, not only are you unforgiven and condemned to darkness yourself, but most likely to generations after you also, because they didn't have you telling them about God. If you think this is showing them love and that you care about them, then you really are blind because you are basically saying that your children, who are really God's children, are no better than the dust of the earth. If you won't let me save the earth, then watch God destroy you. Anyone that can get a billion people to serve God, even if it was under the delusional belief that we are not his children, has to be a prophet, because God would not have allowed that kind of success by anyone unless he was a messenger sent by him. 